On this video, we're going to review a booking lifetime deal that's on right now. It's been a favorite amongst LTD buyers because it's inexpensive and it has the features that you need right now to start using it right away. It's called Tidy Cow. And they just launched a new feature that's called Date Pulse, which I think is pretty cool. And I'm going to show you what it is right now. Now, obviously, this is a review. So we're going to talk about what I like and dislike about it. And at the end of this video, you should know if this is the right fit for you or not. So let's jump over to my desktop right now. Let's get started with the lifetime deal that's going on right now. It's $29 for the lifetime deal, and that's all you have to pay. Plus, alongside with that, you get a 60-day money back guarantee. So you can go ahead and test it out. And if you don't like it after two months, just go ahead and refund it and you'll get your money back. So basically, there's no risk with that. Now, this is an AppSumo Originals. And what that means is that the team behind this is AppSumo, which I think is pretty much a guarantee that it's not going to die. Now, what are you going to get for the $29? Now let's go here to the license here. And this is what you're gonna get. There's no license here two or three, there's no upsells. With $29, you get everything, all the features that they are going to provide and the updates that are coming. Now you get 10 calendar connections. So that means 10 Google calendars, 10, uh, five Google calendars and five Microsoft, et cetera. You, as soon as you get 10 calendar connections. Free and paid meetings. So that means that you can charge for meetings. You can connect this to Stripe or PayPal. There's a group of bookings, pro integrations, you got Zoom and Google Meet, which are basically your top tier uh, meeting systems. So it connects with those. And you can automate with Zapier API. And it also connects with Pavli Connect, which I'll show you on this video. So with API, you can practically connect with anything. Even if you have a SaaS of your own and you can connect that with API, you can connect. And then you get custom redirect URL. Now, like I said, this is a review video. So I'm going to mention the thing that I don't like about this license here. So 29 bucks, I mean, it's cheap. I mean, you probably spend that in a, in a lunch or lunch for two people, depending on the country. But the thing I don't like is that it has reduced branding. Now, some people don't mind. And in that case, I don't actually mind for that price, but it's, I know that some people do mind that it has branding. So some people would like to remove the branding, but in this case it's there. Okay. So just consider that. And I'll show you that how, how it looks in a bit because it's reduced branding. Now, Let's jump over to my actual panel. This is my tidy cow panel where I get started and I can create my meetings. So first of all, you can embed your booking page on your website. So if you want to share a link that doesn't say tidycow.com, well, you can embed this on your website and share that link from the website and it's going to be there to book a calendar meeting. Okay. The other option is to view your booking page. And this one is tidycow.com slash sasmaster in my case. And obviously yours is going to be personalized. And you can start booking right away from the bookings that you have available. So it's super easy to get started. Now, things that you might dislike, and in my case, again, but I have that reflection when it comes to the pricing that is really inexpensive. But things I would like to have is a custom domain URL. So if I connect my custom domain, that means I can share links that have my actual domain and not tidycow's domain. So just something to consider there that I think I, I would dislike. But like I said, again, the price is like it's 29 bucks. Think about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new booking type. And I want to show you this because it's going to show you the potential of Tidy Cal and if it has the features that you need as of now. Okay, so first of all, we can set a title. And in this case, I'll just set a test. This is a URL, like I mentioned, it's not custom URL. Description, again, I'll just set for test because it's just testing. The duration of this meeting, is it gonna be weekly or a specific dates? and define your weekly availability below. So first of all, it's turned off Sunday, Saturday. You can turn these on and again, set the schedule for this. You can add a window. So that means that if you want to add a, a window, let's just say that you work from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then you have a lunch at 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Well, you can set a window and then start again from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So it, it lets you add that window. Turn off days, turn them on, set schedules by different dates. Maybe Friday, you just want to finish off. You know what? At 1 p.m., I don't want any more meetings because basically the weekend is coming. All right. So it's just options. And you can add unavailable date overrides. So you can override by adding a date here. View advanced booking type settings. Of course, we want to check that out. Then we have how far out can users book. So if you set this calendar for this days as available, well, they can book six days in advance. So that means from two months from now, they can they can book a meeting from those days. I, I would say personally, I think that's kind of risky. I would say 30 days or even less because you never know what's going to happen in two months. I mean, something could happen that things change that I think is booking too far ahead. But it's up to you how, much, how many days ahead you want to do that. 
minimum meeting padding. So the minimum padding is you can't book another meeting right away. So that means if someone books at 1 to 2 p.m., well, 2 p.m. is not going to be available. That's where you set the padding, okay? Then you have bookers can't schedule within two hours of current time. So for example, if I send out this link and I'm available, let's just say that no, no one booked on Monday at 8 a.m. and I sent the link at 7 p.m., well, they can't book two hours of time. And again, I think this is too rushed. I mean, things can happen in two hours. I would minimum say six hours for the booking. So that's up to you what you want to set. Available time slots intervals. So 15 minutes are the intervals. Limit bookings if you want to limit them per day. So let's just say that, you know what, it's too stressful. I can't do more than three a day. Well, let's go ahead and limit the booking. Location, online video conference, physical address, phone number or no location. Set that up if you like. If you set these up, they're going to give you other options. Enable group booking. So if you want to book by group, well, you just enable that. And up to two people or more. Charge for this booking. So if you want to charge for this one, and in this case, I'm not going to charge. But again, if you connect PayPal or Stripe, you can go ahead and charge for that. Questions to invite. So if you want to add some questions, kind of like a poll, kind of get um, um, information before you even get started in the meeting, like what's the meeting about? Uh, what are you interested more most about? What does your business need to grow, et cetera? Just add that there. Enable package booking. So if you want to enable packages, so define limit of dates per booking, two dates weekly. Customize email reminders. So if you want to customize the email reminder, you can do so by doing it here. And this is, again, something that we can not connect our SMTP, but there's a workaround for that, okay? And if we automate this with Zapier or Public Connect, we can do a workaround, which I'll show you at the end. There's also add confirmation redirect URL. So confirmation, private mode, display booking type directory, and you can just go ahead and create the booking, okay? And we have created it. We have a link directly to this one, or let's go ahead and go here. Okay, there's a link direct to this one. If you can go ahead and do a booking. So the 15th, I got all these days available. I can select this one. I can also view mutual availability. So I can see the schedule for me. And in this case, I'm in the same time zone. But if someone is in Europe, we can view both time zones and kind of see a fall in between where it works for both of us. I can go ahead and select it. My name, my email, and book an event. Remember, in at this time, I am not going to um, ask any questions. So just consider that. And the Teddy Cow, here it is. Here's that little branding. So I said, not too bad. Basically, people are not even going to notice it. And if they do, then it's, I mean, it's pretty much okay for the live that you're going to pay. So you can share the link, link directly or the general link. Okay. So that's for the booking types. Now, a really cool feature that they just launched. I mean, probably less than a week ago, it's called date polls. And this is pretty much amazing, especially when you are booking more than three people or where when you're, there's a lot of team members. So if you create a poll, like I've done right here, people vote. And at the end, the boat that wins the most votes, it's the date and the time that the booking is going to happen. So if I create a new poll, I'll just say test again. And I'll say test two because I already created it. Test. The duration of the meeting, 50 minutes, and then we add the possible dates that they can uh, vote on. Okay, so in this case, it's two dates. We're gonna keep it really simple: the 19th and the 20th. And again, location, and we create the poll. Now the poll's created. Let's go ahead and go to that poll, and this is what we're going to be greeted with. We're gonna share this with our team or whoever you're gonna make this uh, meeting with, with several clients, and they're gonna vote. You know what? The 19th worked for me, and people are gonna vote for it. I'm going to submit my date, name, submit, and boom, it's been confirmed. Let's go to the date, date polls, and it's this one right here. So I just voted on this one, and at the end, that's the date that's going to be locked in. So that's pretty cool, right? It's something that's going to save you a lot of time. It's uh, not going back and forth with team members, and basically, I think it's an awesome feature. Then we can view our bookings. So the bookings that you have are upcoming. You're going to view them here, and you can export bookings if you like which is pretty cool, right? Then you have my contacts where you're going to be listed all your contacts that have booked with you. If I go ahead and click this, this is a test emails, my test email also. There's one booking. I can go ahead and view this. I can view details about it. I can view the date it happened, how many minutes, who, who, who it was with, the email, the date, etc., the options, the details about it. So it's pretty easy to basically use. So if you want to start booking right away, that's all you have to know, right? Now, what if we want to integrate and automate? Well, 
we're going to go into the options. In the options, we're going to go into integrations. And in integrations, we can connect with calendars like Google Calendar, Office 365, and Apple account. So all these three, I connected my uh, Google Calendar, super easy, straightforward. Just go ahead and accept the terms and it's connected. Here's Zoom, if you want to connect with Zoom, if you want to bring in your calendar, Calendly, Calendly, <laughs> um, bookings over here. So import, you can just go ahead and do it by this integration. If you want to connect with Stripe, with PayPal, which I've done already, just set your email, pretty much easy. Automate with Zapier or via API. So it's pretty cool that they have API available because basically it opens up the doors for any type of integrations. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you the integration with Pavly Connect. So in Pavly Connect, when you create a new automation, you go ahead and search for Tidy Cal, and you have two main options, which is trigger this when a new booking happens on your Tidy Cal or when a new contact is created. Now, when I mentioned the workaround for the email, well, if a new booking is created, you don't use the email from Tidy Cal. You can use the email here on Pavly Connect. So the next, the action is going to be, it could be SMTP, all right? And set your own custom domain email to be sent out via this, okay? Or you can use Gmail from here if you like, but it's a workaround for that. So I think it's pretty cool that you can do that. Now to connect with this, I'm gonna connect, and this is gonna be my Teddy Cow connection, connect with Teddy Cow. I'm already uh, logged into Teddy Cow, so that's why it's not asking me to log in. I'm going to authorize it. There we go, it's been successful. And we can go ahead and save and send the test request. There we go, it should send out the data. Here's one of the previous tests that was ran, and we have this information to create the next automation. So in this case, what I want to do with the next steps is up to me. Basically, the sky's the limit. And yes, you can do this with Zapier also, and with other integrations, automation systems that can do that. Now, there's a roadmap that they have here. And if you ask me, they've been updating this constantly, I would say every two to three weeks. So they are working on this. It's not a project that's left to die. They do work on this. And this is all that they've done. Right now, there's nothing in progress, but this is all set to do. So all this is coming. They already said to do. So that means they are going to work on this. It's not an upload. It's not feature request. This is what is coming. So basically, I think it's definitely worth for the $29 that you're going to get. The only things that I dislike about it, like I said, is the reduced branding, no custom domain. But aside from that, it, it has basically the bells and whistles you need right away to start booking your meetings. So if you want to check out TidyCal, link will be provided in the description. And basically, that is a wrap.